Hey everyone, this is Pudlina from Pudlina's Kids Place. I'm on location at the Amway Center with Kyle Barker, who's a clown, um, with the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Not too bad. I'm actually enjoying the wonderful new Amway Center that they've built here. Uh, I believe it was sometime in October, but this is the first family show that's actually arrived here at the Amway Center, so I'm definitely excited for tonight. Okay, awesome. Um, so what is it, like... What is um, what do you like about being a part of the circus, and what is the life like? What is my life like? Well, definitely, it's always filled with joy and laughter. <laughs> the most favorite part is that joy and laughter. That seeing the children on the pre-show floor, very fun and exciting. Uh, that would definitely have to sum up that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and how did you get involved in like being a part of the circus? Well, I auditioned in New York City at Madison Square Garden for our Clown College auditions. It was really exciting. It was about a two-hour process of just movement and, and other clowning aspects and different clown techniques. And uh, I unfortunately didn't get the actual call back until September of 2009, I want to say. And just from there, I just... Uh, I had a, a, a journey to learn a new show once I once I joined in September. Uh, man, it's time flies, so my mind gets yeah. a little distracted sometimes. But uh, it's just a really funny time auditioning, and and oh man, so many good stuff. Okay, cool. Um, and did you have any training like before you did this with like dance, Broadway, or any special skills when you started? I attended a small camp that uh, taught circus skills and, and taught clowning skills. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty much mostly self-taught and the stuff that I learned here uh, with the rest of the people who have been around uh, for several years, like my boss clown Dustin. I learned a lot from him. It's pretty much how I continue to stay learning. Okay, cool. Um, and being in the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus has um, probably been an amazing career. And what is your uh, favorite part of the circus? Definitely traveling, the cities, the different people. It's uh, it's fun to meet different types of people. You Once you notice you've been in, in an area so long, like I lived in Chicago all of my life, and once I joined the Army and got around there, it was interesting seeing the different ways people react with each other. I figured the circus would be able to allow me to see all those different interactions, and that's my favorite part, just the interactions between humanity. Sorry, I need okay. to interrupt you. Did you. You traveled by train, and is that something you had to get used to? Actually, the train is something that's easy to get used to because it rocks back and forth as it goes like no more than 65 miles an hour. So the rocking back and forth is like a baby in a crib. So I fall asleep too fast. So the minute the train starts moving, I take a nap. It's really easy. Okay, awesome. Um, so did you have? do you have to have like a good sense of humor to be in the circus? Uh, definitely a good sense of uh, humor, a good sense of, of just... A good personality as well. Um, a lot of other things you you can uh, you can learn along the way. That uh, you definitely want to be a good learner. Okay. That's always the best part. Yes. And if you look around the circus, and who do you consider really amazing, and why? Who do I consider amazing? Wow. There's so many amazing people on the show as it is. Uh, I think the most amazing for me would have to be Lou Jacobs, which is the reason I became a clown in the first place. Uh, it's just, it had something to do with the way he looked and the and the, the way he acted with the people. Always the most amazing guy. Yes. Okay, well thank you so much for talking to me. No problem, Pavlina.
You traveled by train, and is that something you had to get used to? Actually, the train is something that's easy to get used to because it rocks back and forth as it goes, like, no more than 65 miles an hour. So the rocking back and forth is like a baby in a crib, so I fall asleep too fast. So the minute the train starts moving, I take a nap. It's really easy. Okay, awesome. Um, so did you have, do you have to have like a good sense of humor to be in the circus? Uh, definitely a good sense of uh, humor, a good sense of, of just a good personality as well. Um, a lot of other things you, you, can, uh, you can learn along the way. That, uh, you definitely want to be a good learner. Okay. That's always the best part. Yes. And if you look around the circus, and who do you consider really amazing and why? Who do I consider amazing? Wow. There's so many amazing people on the show as it is. Uh, I think the most amazing for me would have to be Lou Jacobs, which is the reason I became a clown in the first place. Uh, it's just, it had something to do with the way he looked and the and the, the way he acted with the people. Always the most amazing guy. Yes. Okay, well thank you so much for talking to me. No problem, Pavlina.